<laughs> UFO 50 is Derek Yu's next project, coming up very, very soon this year. And it's been a thing that I've heard about for the last, I don't know, five, ten years. It's kind of been stuck in his development bubble while he worked on Spelunky 2 as well. And now, after that was released, he put all of his effort into UFO 50, it seems to be. It is a collection of 50 retro-inspired games. And all this time that I have heard about it, I'm like, I just don't get the hype. I just don't get the appeal of these games. You look at the trailer, you look at the footage of any one individual game that is in this collection, and if you imagine this game on Steam, and you look at a trailer of it, you click on the store page, I would dismiss it outright. I would be like, eh, not for me. Probably because the 8-bit aesthetic kind of turns me off. I am not super into that look for video games, even though I did grow up with the NES. In fact, UFO 50 is super nostalgia plus for me, because when I grow up, I experienced the NES in a way that is uh, perhaps not the standard way. Well, growing up, I had no idea that you bought video games like, there was one game per cartridge. I thought that games came in these collections of cartridges, never realizing that, oh, uh, we were going to pirate bootleg little stands on the street and buying collections of games on cartridges for a fraction of the price of the original games because it was all the illegal game market and I knew no other thing. I thought that was just the way that these games were purchased. So to get a collection of 50 games in this bundle that Derek Yu and his team is putting together, it is super nostalgic for me as well in that regard. That being said, I am not somebody that is driven by nostalgia. I look at this game like I I get it, like right? I get the value proposition and I get that there is a name recognition thing going on. Derek Yu is endorsing this game, so they have to be at least decent, but I am not excited to play these little games. I just don't get it. I don't get the hype. And what changed my mind to the point that now I am actually quite looking forward to exploring through this entire thing. By the way, they're not completely disconnected games. There's this meta narrative around it where it's this game developer called UFO 50, I think, and they have, there is like a little bit of a story around it, but most of the the, the, the experience is just playing these games completely out of order. Whatever order you want to click on them, you're going to be playing them through. So it's not like there's a linear story to follow or anything like that. But what I'm getting at is that what changed my mind is thinking about Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors looks like ass. It is just not something that is appealing to the eye. You look at trailer of it and it's like, what is this garbage, right? At least that was my experience with that when I first witnessed it. But then it goes on to create a new genre all of its own. It's a, it's a seminal work. People will look back on it like this is the beginning of this genre, like Doom was. Well, I guess Doom wasn't technically the beginning of, of FPSs. It was more like uh, Wolfenstein 3D and that kind of stuff. But anyway, there's this collection of 50 heavily curated games by top-notch developers and they're all being curated and endorsed by basically a game dev legend. Derek Yu is nothing short of, of a genius in the indie gaming development sphere, the creator of Spelunky. He has all the street cred in the world, so the fact that he's putting his name behind all of these video games is like what are the chances of at least one of these games to be a breakout hit that is going to be freaking incredible, is going to shape a whole new branch of gaming going forward? Obviously, there's no guarantee that's going to happen, and I don't want to like overhype it in my mind, like, oh, one of these is going to be such an incredible hidden, hidden gem, but it kind of changed my perspective on... on how to look at it. I was like, eh, this seems almost like a waste of time. Like, a, why would I put myself through playing these arc tiny arcade 8 bit games that don't really carry a narrative? Like, there are some games in there that are, are pretty uh, comprehensive, pretty big, but still they're like, eh. 
not my cup of tea. If you look at my top 10 most played games of all time, look at the sheer number of hours invested into the games. Now, what do you see? Do you see the roguelikes? Do you see the giant RPGs? Do you see the souls likes? Do you see the, the colony sims? You know, you can tell my taste in video games just by looking at this screenshot. I am very eclectic. I will give a chance to a lot of games, but what's going to really pull me in it's going to be these genres right here. So, you know, UFO 15, the fact that there may be something incredible hidden in this 50 heavily curated video game list, it's something that really shifted my perspective of, you know, I should really pay attention to it and at least give it a good chance. I was always going to buy it because Derek Q is an excellent developer. He's like the golden standard of what a game dev should aspire to be. So I really want to support him in his, his endeavors. If he put out a, a golden turd and he called it a $50 masterpiece, I would tell him, you know what, you, you Derek, you, I'm going to give you money for it. I feel like I owe you. Obviously not everything's going to appeal to me. I don't expect even 40 of those games to appeal to me, but I bet there's going to be at least five that are going to be like, you know what, this is, this is, this is great. I love playing these video games. So. Very much looking forward to it. Also, the value proposition, you cannot beat that. Even if he prices it at $50 of the, the entire package, that's a dollar a game. And are you really expecting Derek Yu to price his next project at $50? I doubt it. He might, but I doubt it. Probably we're expecting a $20, $30, maybe $40 price tag. Either way, this is what I've been thinking about ever since the announcement trailer came out. At first, I was like kind of negative, like frustrated with myself, like not being able to share in the excitement of Derek Hughes' next project. It was like, oh, that this sucks. Oh, I can't really uh, see the appeal of this. But now I have completely changed my perspective. Looking forward to the next genre defying masterpiece that is hidden in this collection of video games. And if there's no such thing, I still had a good time exploring this collection of video games because I am sure they're at least fun experiences. So there's not going to be a loss going forward, no matter what happens. I hope that you too are looking forward to it because I am going to be playing through each and every one, seeing what they have to offer. The ball's on your court, Derek. Don't disappoint me.